Well, Make-A-Wish Central New York is bringing back a campaign for its 12th year. Citrus TV's Chloe Breeze is in studio now. And Chloe, what can you tell us about this campaign? Thanks, Ronnie. Make-A-Wish Central New York is partnering with a well-known business that may be familiar to many students here on campus. And donating could help make a difference in a child's life. Make-A-Wish has partnered with Dunkin' Donuts in its annual donut campaign. Anyone who donates a dollar at Dunkin' will receive a special Make-A-Wish donut with 100% of that dollar going towards granting a wish for a child in Central New York. I sat down with Diane Kupperman, President and CEO of Make-A-Wish Central New York, who told me how Duncan has been able to help. So 100% of the funds from the donut campaign come back to Make-A-Wish here in Central New York, and our number one priority is to ensure that wishes are granted. Currently, we have 125 kids in the pipeline who are waiting for their wishes to come true. So not only does, do they help with raising the much needed funds, but they get the story out there. Over the past 12 years, the Duncan campaign has raised $825,000 towards making these wishes come true. Granting wishes from going to Disney World to seeing a Buffalo Bills game. Make a wish is there for a child to bring hope to their lives. But a wish gives back to them an opportunity to think about not being sick, to think about the future. We get to change their story. So wishes are more than just a singular moment in time. They really have a lifetime impact. With donations, community support, and volunteers, the Make-A-Wish team has been able to grant nearly 2,500 wishes, and the support from Duncan is helping to give kids their dream. And that's what wishes do. Something as sweet and simple is asking a child if you could have one wish, what would it be? If you or someone you know would like to get involved, you can visit Make-A-Wish website or head to your local Dunkin' from now until the 15th and make a delicious donation. Ronnie and Alana, back to you.